Welcome, Fluid Art and Dutch Pour Artists. My name is Dawn and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to try to create a piece that's very similar to this one but using some different colors. I was inspired by Molly from Molly's Artistry on her channel to create a piece that had the black in the background with the black negative space in the center and then created or blew out the paint around the edges and I used about five different colors on this particular piece with blue different blue shades with a metallic silver and some white. So for my piece today my husband requested a cheese theme. I'm going to go ahead and use the Black Flow by Artist Loft for the back, the background. And then I'm going to use three other colors for the strips of color that I'm going to blow out around the edges. So I'm going to go with first laying down a Cadmium Red Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. Then I'm going to go with this Artist Loft Metallic White. Go over the top of that. And then finishing it off with a Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. Now, the only concern I have is, of course, when the two colors, red and the yellow, mix and create orange. But I did kind of preview this and it didn't really give me too much of an orange color when I did this on a smaller canvas. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this turns out the way I want it to. When I meet you back, I'm going to go ahead and have my canvas already um, covered in my black fluid artist loft paint and we'll get to creating. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I lay the black background down. Again, this is the black flow from Artist Loft. I went ahead and painted the corners and the edges. By trial and error, I figured out that when the paint flows down the sides and the corners, sometimes it doesn't always have the best coverage. When it's the darker colors, like your blacks and my blues, so I thought, I'm just going to start covering it with the brush, let it dry, and then go ahead and use my background colors next, and it works a lot better. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay down my different colors. I'm going to start with my red. And remember, this is a cadmium red deep hue. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one. Next, I'm going to go with my Metallic White by Artist Loft. And I'm going to finish it off with my Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. And I'm going to go ahead and torch it, get out those bubbles. Not all those little air bubbles, we don't want those in the finished piece.
and we're ready to blow this out. Let's cross my fingers. cow I love how this blew out I'm loving how I really don't have really so much orange kind of like my practice canvas it's mostly just that deep yellow and my red and my white I love that I use that metallic white this time and I love all my negative space here in the center. And I have some plans for the center. I don't know if I'll chicken out, but I thought about putting a Kansas City Chief uh, logo in the center. I might have to turn it this direction to get it to fit on there with the arrowhead and the KC on it. But yeah, um, not sure if I'll do it. I don't want to ruin my piece, but that's kind of what I would love to try. But I love how this came out. The colors look really good, and I'm going to go ahead and bring you up closer. So here's a different view for my finished piece. Again, I'm really loving the colors together. I don't really see too much orange. Most of it stayed as that deep hue and that gold yellow color. Perfect. I'm glad I used that metallic white. I like the look of that. I like how it lightened it up with that black background. And the paint reacted really well with the white to help with my cool lacing and cells. I'm really liking it. Woohoo! I'm excited. Sorry for the glare. Yay. Now, hopefully, that paint, I tried not to get it too thick in the center. I know from experience when it's too thick in the middle, the paint moves inward and keeps creeping inward. <laughs> So hopefully this time it'll kind of stay put. We'll share with you what this canvas looks like once it's dry. Go Chiefs! Here's my finished piece. It came out awesome. I'm so excited. I was brave. I stayed brave. I went ahead and painted that KC Chief logo on cardstock. Acrylic paint. Gave it a black splatter to help it blend in just a little bit so it wasn't so stark and uh, take over too much. Glued it on with some Liquitex Gloss Medium and then gave the whole piece three coats of Liquitex Varnish. I'm so happy with the way the yellow turned out. It pretty much stayed right on target with the yellow on the logo didn't turn too much orange. So I'm loving that. I like how the red and the white came out as well. And my husband loves it. He's going to put it in his bar area. So if you've liked what you've seen in this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And go Chiefs! Woohoo!